Until I have a dedicated filming space set up, I was planning on recording in front of the bookshelves because that's a nice like geeky background that I love. But it turns out the sun is a huge factor in whether or not the bookshelves actually make a good background. And today is not a good day for the sun in that particular part of the apartment. So we are recording here on the couch. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about goals and motivating topics. So I hope you're ready for it. Make yourself a cup of coffee or tea. I have gone for some Earl Grey tea in my very British mug because I've already had enough doses of coffee today. As you've seen from my last videos, I have just moved to the Netherlands and we're pretty much settled in at this point. There's still a couple of little boxes and a couple of things to figure out, including my filming space. But for the most part, we're pretty settled. So now is the time when I'm thinking about the future, what the next few months hold for me, forming a new routine. And I tend to do this not at New Year's, but anytime I have kind of a change in my life. So it can be something as big as moving abroad, moving from Canada to the Netherlands, or before that, moving from New York to Montreal. But it also can just be anytime I have any sort of change that really feel significant in my life or just i just feel like my routine has maybe stopped working for me or maybe there's something that i just really feel the lack of in my routine i wanted to focus specifically on skills in this video because these things are kind of like goals or resolutions and it's kind of all the same thing you can kind of lump them together on a list but really i want to approach them as building a skill, getting better at something. I'm a very naturally curious person. I've always loved to learn. That's why I've talked about so many different things on this channel. I have different interests. I'm not saying I'm good at a lot of things, but I do like to just learn different things. But all these things are linked to kind of my main skills and just things that are very like core me, very important to me. And I would love it if you would leave in the comments below a skill or two that you are working on or that you'd like to work on. The first thing is blogging. So I have done YouTube for a very, very long time, but I have never maintained a consistent blog, like a written blog. And it's not something that I want to actually maintain. I don't wanna do weekly posts on a blog. I don't wanna start focusing more on my blog than my vlog, but I am a writer. I have always been a writer and I just haven't published that much written content online. I publish videos all the time and have for years. So blogging is something that I've wanted to kind of experiment with and just kind of try my hand at it occasionally maybe test out a post that's a little bit of a different tone than what I might write in a book or for my employer, you know? I started a series already and it's gonna consist of six posts. So for the next few Sundays, I have them scheduled to go out. And then after that, I'm not gonna do weekly posts, but I would like to continue maybe once a month, once every couple of months. It doesn't have to be that often, just every once in a while, flex that muscle a little bit and write something and post it. The next one revolves around music, which is something that my life has revolved around pretty much as long as I can remember. I've been playing violin since I was five. I have sung in choir. I've learned a little bit of piano and guitar. It's always been a very, very important part of my life. But in the past few years, um, pretty much ever since I had kind of a, a bad interaction with one of my neighbors in Paris. But now every time I want to play music and want to even sing, and I'm not talking about like belting or like really, really disruptive singing. I'm just talking about normal, barely louder than speaking. Like watching TV is probably louder than the kind of singing that I would like to do. But following that interaction, anytime I would think about engaging with music, I just started getting really, really nervous that the neighbors would possibly suspect that music was happening in my apartment. It's very silly but it is something that's kind of stuck with me. And it's affected, I think, my relationship with music in a lot of ways, because I am just very self-conscious suddenly. Again, I'm not talking about making disruptive noise. I'm talking about reasonable hours, reasonable like lengths of time. Here as well, we're actually very fortunate that I think the walls are quite thick. We don't really hear our neighbors except when they like move furniture or slam doors or something, but we really just don't hear that much. So this is the time. This is the time that I'm going to start dedicating myself to more music and start singing more. I really miss singing and I feel like it's a muscle like any other muscle and the fact that I don't sing every day whereas I used to sing all day every day pretty much or at least every day it's very rusty and I feel it every time I actually do sing so that is something that I want to prioritize a little bit more. And I also wanna prioritize listening to music and just engaging with music more. Ultimately, I would just like to nurture a better connection with music again. And I would also like to actually develop my skills more and become a better singer. Also have better pitch. I used to have really, really good pitch back when I was in orchestra. Not perfect pitch, but I was pretty good. That's coming from someone who does not like to give herself compliments, but my pitch was pretty good and it has gotten much worse since I've not really practiced it. So maybe I just need like a keyboard and I will test myself, give myself little note quizzes um, like I used to do actually with my friends in orchestra. The next thing I would like to improve, you might maybe start to see in my videos, maybe, 
but I would like to get better at video editing, specifically mastering Final Cut Pro. I've used Final Cut for many years, and before that I used iMovie, which is kind of like, I guess, a simpler Final Cut Pro. And I've been video editing way back to like Windows Movie Maker. I used to make little videos and stuff long before I started posting on YouTube in 2013. And even that has been a very long time. So it's safe to say I am pretty comfortable editing a video. I have definitely grown a lot of skills, and I think sometimes I overlook just how much I have grown and how much I know about video editing, just because it's become so natural to me after all this time. But there is always room for improvement and there are tons of things I can't do. And I would say that generally my approach to video editing is pretty simple. Once I find something that I like, I continue to do it video after video. That's fine, of course, but I've really become interested lately in developing those skills more. That goes both in my approach to editing, like my speed and my efficiency, kind of the behind the scenes stuff that you might never see, but then also so the other side, I also would like to try more things in terms of style of videos. And that's something that I probably will maybe start to do in some of my videos on this channel, but I might also play around with my own like side projects or things that I just record specifically to try something new. Um, so I've started watching videos already on YouTube uh, from people who know a lot more about Final Cut than me. It's a very useful skill and it's also something that I really enjoy. I genuinely enjoy editing videos. Unlike a lot of people I think who make YouTube videos, I'm actually a big nerd and love the editing process. It's sometimes a little too complicated or a little too long and it's not always the thing that I'm in the mood for, but generally I actually really enjoy it. So. Why not get better? Why not build that skill? Why not lean into that curiosity? While I'm on the topic, I feel like I should also mention that videos are on my goals list. And in terms of skill building, I really want to get more consistent with my videos again, and I would like to publish more often. The idea is to do once a week, not necessarily always on this channel because I have my writing channel that I will also link up in a, in a card and you can subscribe to me there if you're also interested in books and writing. That is a very, very important part of me, which you'll see again in just a minute for the next goal. I think it's the next one on my list. I already have a calendar. I've already been working off of a calendar for a while. I kind of threw it out the window during the move, but now that I'm here and now that we're pretty much settled, I will definitely start working more so off of a calendar. I was indeed right. The next one is novel writing. So like I said, I have an entire writing channel. The link is in the description box below. Novel writing has been a very important part of my life since I was a little kid. My rhythm, my progress, all of that has varied so much over the years, just depending on what's going on in my life at the time. But right now I am working on a first draft of a somewhat new project. I haven't set myself a hard deadline for when I want to accomplish a certain percentage of the draft or the first draft itself, but I definitely am focusing on my sort of day-to-day -day progress. I don't write every day, but I write a couple of days a week. And what's really important to me is the consistency and the fact that my writing sessions are good and are productive in some way. And that's not just a goal. It is very much a skill because novel writing is a skill that you build each time you sit down and write. Like you are constantly learning how to do new things and challenging yourself with every single scene that you write. I'm also challenging myself in a lot of story elements, like the current work in progress is a dual POV. It's the first time I've ever done a dual POV. And every freaking time that I sit down to write a chapter, I am learning something new about how to make a dual POV work. So it's definitely skill building. And that is just one element of the new things that I'm doing with this book. Of course, I have to talk about languages. Dutch currently, is my language of focus when it comes to what I'm practicing. I've said before that I don't think I will become fluent in Dutch. That's not really the goal. The goal is very much to learn enough to be able to interact with my environment, to be able to interact with the people around me, to be able to read signs and read my like products at the grocery store because I cannot tell you how many times I have bought the wrong thing. Thinking that I understood what it said and discovering that there was a modifier that I misunderstood or there are two different types that look very similar and I got the wrong one. So I would really like to be able to do that a little bit smoother. Another skill that I've said for a very long time I wanted to get better at, and again, these are not things that are new skills that I'm trying to learn. They're just things I'm going to continue to build up and focus on, but that is cooking. I would like to be just a little bit more adventurous with the types of things that I cook on a regular basis. I have had, you know, I guess times in my life when I've done this a little bit more, been a little bit more adventurous. Um, I would say during the pandemic, I was definitely a lot better, although I did bake more than cook. And generally I don't really have to encourage myself to, to want to try new baking recipes. I do like to bake, even if sometimes it's kind of a disaster. <laughs> Not always though. I will link my, my recent baking video about baking chai cookies, which was really fun and actually turned out okay, despite some moments when I thought it wasn't going to. <laughs> but cooking like savory food is 
is a different story. I have had some very fun recipe tryouts, but generally on a sort of regular daily, weekly basis, I stick to the same few things that I know how to make, even just mastering a handful of new recipes so that even if it's not trying a new recipe all the time, just having a few more in my arsenal, a few more things that I know how to do pretty well would be really nice. I'm gonna wrap up the video here, but like I said, let me know in the comments below if there are one or two skills that you're also working on. These can be things that you've been working on for a long time and you're just continuing to develop, or maybe this video has made you think of something that you've kind of always wanted to work on or get better at, and you've just never kind of committed. Let this be the motivation to commit. I'm also committing to myself by making this video that I'm gonna continue to focus on these things and I'm gonna continue to prioritize them. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed to the channel uh, if you wanna be subscribed and if you wanna see what comes next on the channel. And also you can give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this topic. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Bye.